because they're as you as they naturally funnel down the, the trails they use the the den entrance type holes as it funnels down the beaver are used to going through that type of thing and they'll go right through a conner bear like this of course once you educate a beaver they're as hard as to catch as a coyote you're going to find them covering up your traps snapping them off and going around them they, they get pretty tough so no matter what type of set you're using for beaver always try to do it right the first time so you hammer that beaver also notice how we've got the conner bear trigger set here. We don't want to catch rats coming through here. I'm going to put this trigger on the bottom. We don't want to catch small rats or anything swimming up in this trail, snapping that trap, possible miss. We want to take beaver only. So we're going to have that wire shaped like that. We can even maybe even bend it further down to, to only take large beaver, or beaver that would scrape their feet as they went through this trap to get up on the bank here. Once our trap's anchored, we'll get that down and then just push them springs down. I've got a few other dead sticks here that we can actually push in the, the spring levers. We'll take some beaver lure. Instead of using the, the same method I showed before, we can show a different method. Take your beaver lure, get it wrapped up good. On the end, this is a caster-based lure here. Get a nice little gob on the end of a stick and actually place that stick right up in the trail here. Kind of get it up in the wind currents. Your lure will run down in there, run down. You can take your finger and run a little trail down in. That beaver lure is going to kind of work down in there. Get rid of this root. Want to make sure it's very appealing for that beaver to work up in here as he comes across. Conner bears are very effective tools for beaver. They take them in just about any type of situation. Most of the time, you're going to want your conner bear mostly submerged, at least three quarters of the way submerged, for best results. You can use them under the ice. When you use conner bears, again, be discreet. Don't set them on dry land. And, you know, most states it's illegal anyway. But we could set a conner bear up here and catch a beaver, no problem. But we might catch a dog. That would put us in a bad light. We don't want to do that. Let's get the trap out here. Let's fence it. Let's catch the beaver. Let's keep the beaver down here in the cold water.